as usual, we're all gathering here at this time to practice meditation. Some of you joined with the chanting for half an hour, reflecting on the, the virtues of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha and also reflecting on some of the teachings as a guidelines for us. And now this is time to practice. So keep your posture straight. Now wherever you are sitting, whether you are sitting on a cushion or a bench or on a chair, and making sure that you are sitting upright position and leaving all your responsibility the site and make a, a commitment and during this time uh, that you will not be moving. So accept to uh, strengthen your back because as we sit gradually because of the gravity, we will just slowly bend in. And whenever we have uh, attention, then simply strengthening it. And having said that, uh, should not be moving or completely still, doesn't mean that you cannot move. Uh, if there is a really need for that, then you can move. And when you are, when you are moving, do so with a, a intention rather than the automatically moving it. So rather than autopilot, we are moving with the intention and why we need to move. The body as it uh, stills and uh, upright and comfortable, no pressure on anywhere, comfortably seated. As we know that uh, first thing of first is to calm the mind. And in order to calm the mind, we will pay attention to one object whether the breath or abdomen, whichever object you have been practicing and are familiar with that, using that object. But once you are intentionally, yeah, you have chosen that particular object, locating in the body where it is, which state, and then focusing on that particular object as it is there, how you feel, how you notice. Suppose if that's a, a breath, then focusing on the breath as it comes in and as it goes out. You may start off with your nostril. As breathe in and breathe out, there is a touch sensations around the tip of the nose. You can place your attention to that sensation. And if you can't see that, you may take a very deep breath and try to Notice that incoming breath and outgoing breath as it touches the nostril. Or if you are using the rising and the falling of the abdomen as your primary object, then you do not have to force the breath to regulate it, to see it. It happens as you relax and the focusing on the rising and falling of the abdomen as it rises and as it falls.
So wherever you feel the breath, whether the tip of the nose as breathe in and breathe out, or the rising and falling of the abdomen as either is breathe in and breathe out takes place. So stay present with it all the time. Do not have a conflict between it that I should be watching the breath at the nose or I should be watching it at the abdomen. Wherever it's very visible and easy to concentrate, you simply pay attention to at that time. And rather than thinking that this is different between the nose and the abdomen, just observe one place where you feel comfortable. And that is also breath too. So the first practice is to recognize that sensation is taking place as breathe in and breathe out, whether it's in a nose or the abdomen. And when you are paying attention to it, naming, naming of that helps to uh, connect or assist your concentration. So as you breathe in and breathe out, consciously making a mental note that this is breathing in or I am breathing in and breathing out. So this naming will help to develop concentration. The actual action that is taking place and you are mentally making a note of it. Similarly, in a rising and falling of abdomen, when it is rising, actively paying attention to it as it is happening and making a mental note that this is rising. Same with the falling. So when you're consciously aware and making a mental note of it, you will gain more concentration. So you will be concentrating on the breath as it touches the nose or the abdomen and having a conscious making a note of it as it takes place. And further on, if you want to even get more strong uh, concentration, you may be able to note it as in different ways. You can recite the word Puto or Samma Arahang along with that. That helps to gain more concentration. One thing we have to remember here that in the practice, we are not following the breath. We are not following the breath from the top or the, from the beginning to the end. When we are following the breath, it is known as a pranayama, another practice in the yoga. But here we are not training or practicing this breathing practice. We're using the breath as simply a tool to gain the concentration. It is a sensation that caused by the incoming breath and outgoing breath. That is what we are interested in. That sensation is the main primary focus of our practice.
And the second thing that we have to be mindful of the uh, while we are practicing is do not regulate the breath or do not control the breath or hold the breath to see it or to feel. Let it breathe naturally, normally. If we are interfering with this breath, and if we think that we can regulate the breath, then we will be dying soon because we forget. We cannot continuously memorize, memorying, remembering to breathe. Our mind simply wanders off. So we are not regulating the breath. We are not holding the breath. Let it flow naturally, normally. Breath in its natural form is breathing, incoming and outgoing, whether we notice it or not. And all of the sensation that comes along with this breath is also natural. But obviously, when you are paying attention to the breath or the primary object, which is the breath, mind will simply go off thinking about other things. Thinking about the things that we have done in the past and particularly in the near past and worrying about things that is about to arrive or about to come or even worrying about what will happen. There will be thoughts, plenty of thoughts coming in. And in those cases, without focusing on that, recognizing it, so observing, acknowledging it, and noting, gently bring it back, back to the breath. So this is the way we tame our mind before, even before we start to practice to know things as they truly are, so-called vipassana practice or inside meditation, without sufficient quietness and concentration of the mind, unlikely that we can gain any insight about things. Until this time, we are teaching the mind. We are training the mind to be this and to be that. The practice of a, a vipassana meditation or inside meditation is a form of a mental training that will teach us to experience the world in an entirely new way. Not from our perspective, not from our concept and understanding. First and at first, we will be able to recognize that what's happening to me, what's happening to us, to the body, to the mind, and what's happening around us.
That's why it is also known as the self-discovery or the method to find yourself. And observing whatever is taking place, investigating it wisely, whatever sensations that is arising. And in this practice, we are not practicing to be special than someone or projecting one very unique person, but with the right attitude, becoming one with the nature. Become a, you know, another way people sometimes say, learning the Vipassana meditation is to be a naturalist. Becoming a naturalist. So we also rely on a breath as a primary object, the platform that we stand. Meanwhile, we are observing other things that comes and go, comes and go. Basically, observing the impermanence of each and everything. Whether our feelings, whether our emotions, whether even the breath. Incoming breath and outgoing breath constantly changing. That's impermanent. <clears throat> so from breath to breath, or each breath is changing. Each thoughts are changing. Each perceptions are changing. Everything that we observe is changing, changing, changing. Even our perception is changing. Basically, practice of an inside meditation is to observe or ability to recognize this change and have, without having any trouble with it, any problem with it, any grasping and clinging on it, ability to keep mind in a complete balance, equilibrium state of the mind. And here in this practice, we are not controlling the mind to be in one object, but learning how this mind is changing from one object to another, how it is moving from one thought to another thought. And now we know that uh, practice of inside meditation is effortless, and knowing things without doing anything on it. But still, we have to have this confidence and energy or effort, sufficient efforts needed to be there. And we have... Uh, clear intention to be mindful of it. So sufficiently we are pushing our consciousness to be mindful of that object as it happens, as it moves, as it takes place. So we put our effort to keep our attention on the things that arises, but we have no intention to grasp. We have no intention to hold on to it. We have no intention to um, attachment on that. We're simply aware of that. We are not identifying it this or that, and we are trying not to make it in order to 
pleasant for us and unpleasant for us, but we are simply knowing it. And obviously, as you again develop this awareness, you may have some other subtle defilements may come, sometimes known as a daydreaming. Oh, I will be good after meditation. Oh, I will be super cool, super calm, super better, like that. So whenever these thoughts come, just simply The key practice here at this time, this moment, is observe, acknowledge, note, and let it be. Return to the object, the primary object, as an anchor, as in a home base, as a home that we are coming back to rest again and again. That's all. So this is the practice. So now on, continue practicing for a while until you hear the gong. Diligently and persistently, urgently practicing. Be faithful to yourself and have a great confidence in your practice. And with a great effort, you are mindful of everything that's arising without grasping, without resting, without identifying on it, but knowing as they are that moves, that change, the impermanence of it. So continue practicing.
Let's practice a loving kindness meditation to relax yourself. And bring your attention to the body, awareness of your body. Whatever sensations are there, just be mindful. Bring your attention to your hand and to your heart. Feel the beating heart. As you feel the beating heart, allowing yourself to be happy, free from suffering. And mentally sharing to yourself, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be at peace, may I be free from suffering. Similarly, sharing loving kindness and compassion to all of the sensitive beings, starting from you into your life. Whatever beings there are, visible and invisible beings, may they be happy, may they be at peace, may they be free from suffering, may they be liberated, liberated. Bring your attention to your hand, aware of sensations in your hands, and to your body, and to your eyes. And as you hear the calm, slowly coming out from meditation and reflect for a few moments. Thank you. 